420, which is a day widely recognized to celebrate cannabis, so you know I had to get an expert on the show. He is a podcast host, a TV host, and a cannabis journalist. Please welcome the one, the only, Abdullah Saeed. What up? What's up, Lily? How you doing? Good. First of all, dope shirt. Dope shirt. Oh, thank you. Fly immigrants. We love it. <laughs> now, before we dive into all things related to 420 and the holiday, I heard we have something pretty crazy in common. We both have a deep love and respect for elastic waist pants. Yes. Somehow I've become associated with these pants and I'm happy to spread the word because I'm definitely an advocate. So I just wore them and then I realized that when in my Google auto completes, it would be like Abdullah Said weed, Abdullah Said documentary, Abdullah Said pants. And I was like, oh my God, wait, how am I being associated with these pants? But you know what? I still rock elastic waistbands. I have not worn regular pants in like a decade. So Abdullah, of course today is 420. Now you call yourself a cannabis journalist. With that, I've never heard this term before. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've done it since 2012. Uh, I've been covering cannabis topics, policy and culture, talking to cannabis people smoking lots of cannabis, following the legalization uh, across the country and across the world. And yeah, it's been my passion for a long time. All right, so I want to ask you this question. And I want to ask you mostly because I know my parents are watching. I know a lot of other parents are watching. I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to weed. I know growing up, my parents were like, it's bad. That's why it's illegal. You, you know, you'll get sick. It's very dangerous. What are some of the biggest misconceptions about weed? Right. So I think the biggest one is that cannabis is bad for your health because cannabis has actually never killed a single person. Uh, I mean, maybe there's a case of like two tons of weed falling on top of a person <laughs> and killing them that way. And if that's the case, that, question your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't be walking under two tons of weed, right? But in general, weed has never killed anyone in the tens of thousands of years that human beings have been using and interacting with cannabis. No one has ever died. The worst that's gonna happen is you're gonna fall asleep. You might get a little bit paranoid at some point, but that's a huge one, definitely. Unlike um, alcohol. Unlike alcohol and tobacco, which kill countless people every day all over the world, right? And you know, a lot of people assume that that's just the way it's always been. Cannabis has always been illegal. But in fact, we're Daisy, right? Our ancestors have been using cannabis for thousands of years, literally, and only in the last hundred years or so under colonialism has prohibition become a thing. And now it's something that our parents have a hard time sort of separating from our culture, right? Right. Our culture, whether you're Pakistani, Indian, Bengali, if you're from South Asia, if you're from many parts of the world, cannabis is part of your ancestry. I can't wait to show this clip to my mom. I cannot wait. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this clip and thank you even more for supporting The Underdog. If you want to subscribe to this channel, you can click right over there for more clips just like this one that are hilarious. You can click right over there. Hopefully, if someone did their job, those things are there. We'll see.